Hello, this is Judith and the Celestial team, and they're uh, chomping at the bit, you might say. Oh, we don't have a bit, but they are. They're really wanting to come through, and what I understand is that they're responding to a collective cry for help. And I understand that because the process we're in now, energetically, the transition between what we were used to before winter solstice and now, and it's increasing, is incredibly intense. I feel it very strongly, and it's challenging sometimes. We're doing more internal adjusting and figuring out and becoming new than we know when we're just sitting there going, how come I don't have any energy? There's a lot going on. So the celestial team is going to come through. <laughs> they sure are. And um, I, most of you already know that they are a large, large, vast, fluid group of collectives from the higher dimensions, as we refer to them as higher. Um, and they mix and mingle and come and go depending on who knows the most, what some are from dimensions that have certain specialties. Uh, and so they work all that out. And if you happen to be new to the Celestial Team and I, and you think channeling, which is what this is still called, um, although it's really just tuning in to aspects of yourself. But if you think it's a little weird, then forget about it. Look at me. The voice is coming out of me. The words are coming out of me. And just take it from me. Okay? And whatever resonates with you, whatever you feel hits it, you get it, makes sense, resonates. Great. Take it. Use it. And if what I'm saying doesn't make sense, then let it go and just enjoy the show. Okay? So, it, it's a very warm day here in Southern California. In the 90s where I am. So I'm going to be drinking a lot of water all through. So I'll let them through now. Here we are. This is the celestial team. And our Judith is right. We are responding to a call for help. And it, it is not that we agree that you need help. But you need help knowing that you don't need help is what you need. And we are here at your service to explain a little bit about the energetic environment and dynamics that are going on around you and within you that is so discombobulating and for some, conf well, for most, confusing, um, tiring, or anxiety producing. That's, those are the three big ones we hear, oh, well, there's actually a little despair from some who think, I'm never going to get this. Well, you are. You are, beloved. You see, what is going on is that there was a great deal of fanfare and excitement about crossing the threshold into these new energies. You were very excited. You couldn't wait. You thought it would be magical. 
to begin to adjust to being a fifth dimensional energy being in a human body and you cross the threshold and then if anything it got trickier harder as you say or it just felt the same so the cry might be put into one question which is why am I feeling so bad? I thought this was going to be so great. Why am I feeling so bad? And then there's, maybe this is all just a bunch of malarkey. Maybe we really didn't cross the threshold after all. Well, you did. You have. The energies are new. You are in far lighter energies of a higher frequency. And there you're in a period of adjustment. Trying to get yourself from the third dimension to the fifth. And you're in literally transition, the fourth dimension, doing that. So you'll hold a high frequency set it and then something will happen to reflect back to you that you're holding a lower one which is coming up to be cleared and then you'll feel what just happened I feel so bad from one minute to the next but that's because you're in a very we could say volatile but it's you that are unsteady energy you can go from five to three in a second do you understand? That's what feels so tricky to you. Now, also the feelings that are coming up are very intense. We hear feeling betrayed by the energies because they're not magical. You feel disillusioned. And we also, maybe not you, but you, right? And then there's you who feels, we're playing, who feels very judgmental of yourself as if you failed, as if you're just not doing it, as if you just might not have been good enough, you might have been left behind. Okay, they're very intense. We will tell you why they're so intense in a moment. First, we would like to tell you that they are not new. Those feelings are old and in many cases, ancient. They're feelings that became activated shortly after you were new, the last time you were new, which was when you were born into this lifetime, into a physical body. And it was very exciting. There was not a one of you who didn't 100% want to be here and couldn't wait to get here. And it was exciting. And then when you had your first third dimensional experience of betrayal or hurt, that feeling of betrayal was born and you began to mistrust the very planet world interactions collective that you had been so excited to join. Or if you were very, very small when you had that first third dimensional experience of betrayal we say third dimensional experience of because it's perception it's a frequency that can can only everything's illusion it can only seem real in the frequency and the dimension that you're in and when you feel it it does feel very real we do understand that 
So, if you were very young when you first had that, what to you felt like a wounding, a slap, a, a rejection? Well, if you were very small, you were still dependent on this world for your survival. So, mistrusting it was not a leap you could make. It would be too terrifying. So what you did then, bless your heart, you did it, bless your heart, turned it against yourself and thought, something must be wrong with me. I must not belong here. I must not be lovable enough. And so you resolved to spend your life trying to be lovable enough. So either one of those happened. And to set up mistrust or self-blame may seem like poor choices to you now, now. But we assure you that when you made them, they were not. When you made those choices, and this is important to know for your own self, when you made those choices, they were excellent choices. They were the best choices you could make in your circumstances all the way around. This is a chance for you to see how limiting a single now perspective can be. Because you can't, if you judge those choices, you're judging yourself. You did a great job. Those choices of either defense or self-blame are what enabled you to keep growing then. Those choices gave you defenses that made you feel a little safer to do so. Or self-blame that gave you the rays of hope that maybe you'd, you just were going to get to be good enough. And that was enough to allow you to accept the imperfection and grow here anyway. And because of those choices, you did. And we say, beloved, bravo, good for you. It is just that that was then and now is now. Choices are only good in the moment you make them because you are changing all the time. You wouldn't decide because the choice to wear diapers was a good idea at one point. That because you'd made it, it was still a good idea now, would you? Then it was a tool to give you more freedom to be mobile. Now it would be a limitation. So then the choices you made were fine. Now they're a burden. We're trying to figure out where to go next. They're coming up now because again, you're new, new is triggering the fears, the judgments, the self-doubts to come up again, for one thing, within you. For another thing, they're coming up strong because the energy you've moved into is lighter of a higher frequency. And this has to do with the laws of resonance. There are energy laws that you will become familiar with as an energetic being, and that is one of them. It simply means resonance, resonating. The way you pluck a guitar string in a room full of guitars, and the same note will vibrate on the others. That's resonance. 
So you're in a higher frequency and everything in you that's high and light is resonating and you feel it. It can make you feel a little dizzy until you're used to it, our juice tells us. But what isn't high and light? The lower frequencies of fear and judgment and mistrust are trying to come up to meet it. Your entire energy field now is doing all it can to match the energies you're in. So you're feeling your stuff coming up. This is not a bad thing. Although it feels bad, but do not call it bad. And uh, we would like you to try to adjust the idea that it feels bad. It feels uncomfortable, which is a, a good way to look at it because you want to get more comfortable in the new energies. Another thing, all of this stuff, lower frequency, energy patterns, habits, beliefs, uh, are showing you in coming up the way they are now. They're giving you proof, aren't they? That you're in lighter energies. So the proof is actually in the occurrences that made you doubt. They're proving. So what you need to do is welcome them up they're trying to help you get exactly where you want to be, and that is to feel the magic. So you need to release them. Release the judgment. Release the fear. Release the mistrust. Release everything that belongs in your old paradigm of separation. Anything that has a victim, aggressor, victim, perpetrator, duality to it. You're on one side or the other. You're either judging, which is aggressive, or you're feeling hurt, which is the victim. All of that is old paradigm. That's what you need to release. You see, the new energies, the shift, the shift, your shift, you have been waiting to happen to you. You come into the new energies, it's not happening. That is because the very idea of waiting for it to happen to you is an old paradigm way of operating. It's passive, isn't it? It's from a place of powerless. You have to wait, you have to hope, you have to be given what you're longing for. That's not who you are. It's not who you've ever been. And it's no way to operate in the new energies. You are sovereign. Waiting for the shift to happen to you is going to only create more waiting because you're pulsing out the frequency of waiting. Instead of waiting for the shift to happen to you, you need to happen to the shift. You need to step into it. And the way to do that is inside. The way to step into it and release the fears, the mistrust, the judgments, blah, 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 that stuff. The way to release that is the, it is the leap that will get you going here. And that leap is to really decide to believe that you're in new energies. Believe that you're a sovereign energetic being. Believe all of the stuff you've been hoping for. Don't hope for it. The only way to make it real is to believe it and decide. That's the beginning of your shift. Once you do, things will change. 
you'll feel immediate change. And then little by little, more and more and more and more and more. The first thing that will happen is once you claim by believing and deciding that you are a sovereign, energetic being who creates reality through frequency, what do you have to be afraid of? <gasps> it's beautiful, isn't it? You're creating it all. The power's in your hands, right? So you can let those fears go. And the mistrust, the judgment, self-blame, you can let that go too. Remember, we told you that when you made those choices, they were fine choices. So commend yourself and like diapers, toss them. You see, unless you make this 100% choice to believe and claim and own your sovereign authority as an energy being, you will not move in to the fifth dimension, beloved, because you'll still be hanging on to the third, okay? It's as simple as that. So you've got two choices. There's no halfway. There's no sort of kind of let's see what happens. Because what that really is saying, I don't really believe it. And so you're going to pull so evidence of why you shouldn't believe it, right? It, it won't work. There are two choices. Step into it or don't. And you can make either one you want, but you know, I don't think any one is actually realer than the other. No, you can't prove the staying in any more than you can prove that one, you see. It's up to you. You create it, is our point. So, choose to step in. And when you do that, you'll be able to release this. Your energy will start to balance. You'll feel lighter, better. You'll start to see evidence that it is new. Because you see, with your old beliefs, you've be been creating evidence that it, it isn't. It's all up to you. Create it, believe it, and don't let anything you see tell you otherwise because none of it will have any meaning except the meaning you put to it. Anything that seems like it shouldn't be happening or you screwed up, uh -uh. that's your meaning. You need to get how sovereign you are. This is why we've been doing these videos and messages for a while because that's the leap. Your owning your sovereignty. And then the laws of resonance will support you. And some of these beliefs that were triggered when you were new here, weren't even new when they were triggered. Many of them, more intense experiences, you actually brought in with you from other lifetimes where you didn't release them. So you thought, all right, I'm going to bring them in this one. I'll get rid of them this way. But then you forget. You forget the laws of resonance. You forget. So they come up and they're very intense and very intense and very intense. And you repeat them. Have you ever noticed that? The same feelings become like a chorus in your life. Because they're trying to get your attention. Okay. And if you don't, then you bring them in the next time. But now, in the shift, you don't need to do that anymore. You can leave them at the door. And you have to. Thank you very much. And that is why it's almost as if you've stepped into a heavenly symphony of uh, violins and flutes and harp music and 
those old frequencies are clanging like someone banging on a hammer to get your attention. Let them. Thank them. And then, you, it's going to be different than the other new. You're not, then you had to learn how to go from being energy into physical form. Now, you're in physical form, becoming even as physical form. You are becoming energy itself an energy alchemist, because it's your consciousness that creates. Beloved, that's the magic you've been looking for. It's been in you all the time. The magic is your ability to create. Don't miss it. So, take this now to heart, decide. And then, the minute you decide, realize that the only place you ever are, if you're in your new paradigm, is in the moment. You're thinking about the past, or judging. Any judgments and all that stuff are only in the past anyway. Come from the past. You're not in the moment. If you're not in the moment, you're in your head, you're back in the old paradigm. So you really need to stay conscious. This is practice. It is a practice. It is constant, just like when you were learning to walk as a baby. You did it. That learning was happening all the time, right? All the time. It was, you lived it. Live your practice now. Stay in the moment, stay clear and free and open and sovereign, and you will acclimate. The foundation to build every, every tool, every skill, every way of working with energy on is that one, staying sovereign in the moment having the authority. Anything that smacks of separation, victim, perpetrator, let it, if it upsets you, let it. It's triggering something in you. You need to let go. Let it go. The more every one of you starts to do that inside, the less you'll see it around you. This is your truth. Believe us, you are moving into unity consciousness. That is your new paradigm. Unity consciousness. And the place to create it is through internal unity. That's why you have to stay in the moment. And internal unity is another way of saying self-love, 100%. Acceptance, compassion, and willingness to work and assist, raise frequencies from a place of self-love, not from a place trying to make yourself better. That's saying, I'm not good enough. Well, okay, the universe says, okay, bye, see ya. And you're back in the third dimension. I mean, we're saying this in very simple terms because we want you to get that it makes sense in, even in the simplest earthly terms. And we will be talking more and our Judith is going to be presenting in some fashion that she's deciding on to give you, not help, but you know, just like when you were learning to drive a car, uh, there's a lot of different things that you learn. Like when you were learning to walk, before you put it all together, <laughs> and then you're walking, right? But when you were learning to drive a car, you'd already downloaded and picked up a lot of 
uh, illusions about how things work. So you had that to contend with. You weren't as new and open, right? So you probably took a few lessons or had somebody in the car with you to help you practice and figure out how to use, learn them all and then put them all together. So that is what our Judith will be offering with our assistance. And uh, we will let you know. You can find it on the website, she'll tell you. Now, I don't think she's coming back to tell you the truth. Oh, I think she's going to ask us to do it. Yes, she is. Uh, the website, www.thecelestialteam.com. Or email us if you want. The Celestial Team at Gmail. And we will let you know when these are ready. Because there's a, first of all, you need the foundation, which we are really giving you now. In the now, in the moment, sovereign from no judgments, self-love. Like a child again, in a state of wonder, only knowing that nothing is going to come up and smack you from behind because you're creating it now. It's your show. That, if you just practice that alone, our messages and the power tools will be wonderful for you. But without that foundation, They won't. You can't use them. You can't use old stuff to create something new, right? You need the new tools in the new energy. The new way of being is what you need. That's all. So, I... Okay, we're gonna wrap it up now. And... We hate to leave you. We really do. We're having a hard time leaving you because we know you hear us and you believe us. And we're saying now, don't you turn this off and then 10 minutes later fall back. There's a mothering energy in us, the Mary Collective, who wants so much to stay there with you. And keep reminding you with her heart of this truth. When you feel our energy and it resonates, it is because you're feeling yourself. So watch the video, play it in the background, whatever. Do whatever you need to remember who you are. And we never forget who you are. Never go away. And we'll be back in this form very soon. We love you, beloved. Remember, you better love yourself. Claim yourself.